Hi again guys, I'm back with another unboxing, or unenveloping I suppose really. It's, uh, very excited about this one, it's a puzzle I've wanted for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> um, as you've probably already seen in the title, what this is, uh, it's finally arrived today, it's actually come quite quickly this, so I'm quite impressed with that. So, yeah, and there it is, Calvin's new Hexaminx, um, designed by Tony Fisher. Um, the pillowed version produced by Trafum, a fantastic puzzle modder from Thailand, and now finally the mass produced one from Calvin's Puddles. Look at that thing, that is fabulous. I love it, I love how this puzzle looks, I really do. So, as you can see, you've got Calvin's Puddle logo, Trafum's signature, and Tony Fisher's signature on there. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, this is basically just a shape mod of a uh, Hexaminx. The sides have been extended and raised and shaped to make it into this cubic form. So, but it still works all exactly the same way as the regular he um, Megaminx. So, I was lucky enough to play with one of these in the past, um, one of Trey from his versions. Um, Kevin, if you're watching this, thank you very much for that once again. It was a fabulous puzzle. Uh, Megaminx takes me well, less than 10 minutes to solve. The Hexaminx on the first attempt took me about four hours. So, although it works exactly the same, all the algorithms do exactly the same as they always do. It, it's like any other shape mod. It skews your perspective somewhat compared to what you would normally get from a regular Megaminx. Um, so I'm just looking at these stickers here, there's like some marks on them, that's not, like they're dirty, that's not good. <laughs> but anyway, let's get down to seeing how this thing turns. Um, if you look at it like a Megaminx, you can see that this kind of pentagonal piece here is a centre, it turns around that, so, and there it is. Okay, that turns quite nicely actually, um, it could use a little bit of lube, but well, that's all. It's, it's not catching or anything, there's no pieces catching, which is good, because as you can see there's lots of small sharp edges, so it would be quite easy for things to catch on each other, you would think, but there's nothing like that going on here at all. Um, the Trafums version I was lucky enough to play with, that turned just absolutely incredibly well. It was, it was the only Trafum puzzle I've ever played with, and you always see in the videos people saying how well they turn, but until you actually get the chance to play with one, you just don't appreciate just how good they really are. Now, obviously this is a mass-produced thing, not a finely tuned, um, handmade thing, but so far it really does turn excellently. I'm very impressed. And it feels like really good quality as well. Um, all the pieces feel very solid and weighty. Um, it feels well tensioned, everything works well, it's yeah, very nice indeed so far, I'm very impressed. Um, yeah, the stickers, let's have a look, they look quite good, I was quite disappointed with the last, oh, I've got one peeling there, uh, a, that's not a good start, that's not nice at all actually. <laughs> I was just about to say, they look a lot better than the last batch of puddles I got the um, cross cube etc where the, uh, the stickers weren't positioned too well but they just positioned okay but yeah I've got a peeling edge there that obviously I'm going to have to glue down or something which is a bit annoying I don't know if you can see that there on camera it's not much it's only one corner but it's still uh, disappointing I might contact him see if I can get uh, some spare stickers or something for it because yeah I don't like that on a new puzzle obviously I just felt yeah there's another one there on this orange sticker as well that there's a bit peeling up there so that's quite disappointing a couple of stickers that aren't stuck down properly and now have no stickiness left on them and there's a same there actually on this white one yeah that's rather disappointing, I definitely have to contact Calvin about that I think and try and get some replacements when I spent forty dollars on a puzzle near enough I expect everything to be done right I'm afraid I'm not complaining about the price but this is quite a lot of money to spend on a puzzle and yeah I think I expect everything right so that's a bit disappointing but other than that I'm very happy with it the as I said the turning quality is absolutely excellent and yeah I'm very pleased to finally be able to own one of these things um, you may not have had a chance to see one of these things scrambled so I'll show you what, what it looks like scrambled as well because it does look pretty mental um, it can be quite hard sometimes to figure out exactly what needs to go where what lines up with what so, when you first begin playing with it, but you can see that is now a turnable face, which looks a bit quite strange, doesn't it? It looks like it's jumbling or something, but it really isn't. That's just the normal 
a normal Mega Minx turn. So yeah, it takes a bit of practice to get things lined up properly when you first start playing with them. I found this the last time as well, but you get there after a little bit of practice and trial and error. Just be careful with it. Make sure you obviously don't pop things out while you're trying to turn something that's not meant to turn. But yeah, this is superb. I'm so happy to finally be able to own this puzzle. I really am. I've, I've watched it in vid people's videos and things for a, a long time now. I'm wishing I could own one. I've never been able to afford um, handmade puzzles from Trifem. They're beyond my means. So to be able to actually hold and play with one of these is just superb as far as I'm concerned. And then you can see now it's starting to get a little, a little somewhat scrambled. And you'll find actually that as it does, you'll, you'll, make, you'll find it easier to... Oh. <laughs> He says, <laughs> trying to pop things out by turning it in the wrong place. I was just about to say, you'll find it easier to see where things line up because you can see the shape of things, the way they match up with the centrepieces better when it's scrambled, actually, than when it's almost solved normally. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're just about reaching the scrambled state there, actually. So, oh no, we've still got a bit around here that's not done. So yeah, as you can see, that just looks absolutely mental. It really does skew your perspective quite badly from what you're used to from solving the measurements this puzzle it really is a fabulous fabulous shape mod um tony fisher is a puzzling genius as far as i'm concerned for designing these things that he does and trey from is just a master craftsman for making the stuff he does and calvin well despite a couple of little quality issues lately i think he's, he's fabulous for the amount of puzzles he brings to us that we wouldn't normally get to play with so yeah I'm very happy that I get to own this as I said several times now but I really love this puzzle and I'm very much looking forward to solving it and yeah so there it is completely scrambled as you can see it looks a total and utter mess no idea where to start right now where I, where I would go about starting the solving process when I do come to solve it but yeah that's the Calvin Trafum and Tony Fisher's Hexaminx. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Take care now. Bye.